let's take a look at coordinate graphs with decimals and negative numbers. Which shape is at 3, 2? Well, when you have an ordered pair, like 3, 2, you have to remember it's always in the form x, y. Okay, this is our x-axis going from left to right. So that x value tells you how far to go left or right. If it was a negative, you would move to the left. Since it's a positive, we're going to move to the right. And then our y-axis is the axis that goes up and down. So that second value, or the y-coordinate, tells you how far the point is up or down. If it was a negative, you would count down. And if it's a positive, you would count up. So to get to 3, 2, I'm going to go well, since it's a positive, that's telling me 3 to the right. And then I have a positive 2, so that's going to be 2 up. And you always want to start counting from here, the point zero, 0, where x and y cross. So from here, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3 to the right, and up 1, 2. So I'm going to land on the yellow square. Which shape is at 3, 3? Okay, well this first three is telling us to go three to the right, and that second three is telling us to go three up. I'm just gonna put R for right and U for up. So from here, I'm gonna go one, two, three to the right, one, two, three up, and I'm gonna land on that green rectangle. What shape is at two, one? Okay, well positive two is telling us to go two to the right, and then one is telling us to go one up. So from zero, zero, I'm gonna go one, two to the right, and one up. And I'm gonna land on the pentagon. Which shape is at five, three? Okay, well five, three is telling us to go five to the right, and three up. So from here, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five to the right, and one, two, three up. And I can see I land on this kind of turquoise blue shape. Which shape is at three, two? Okay, well this would be three to the right and two up. So from here, I'm gonna go one, two, three to the right, one, two up, and I'm gonna land on the circle. Which shape is at one, three? Okay, so I'm gonna go one to the right and up one, two, three, and I'm gonna land on the circle. Which shape is at two, four? Okay, well that's two to the right and four up. So one, two to the right, one, two, three, four up. So I'm gonna land on the star. Which shape is at three, four? Okay, well, always counting from zero, zero, and this is telling me to go three to the right and four up. So I'm gonna go one, two, three to the right, one, two, three, four up, and I land on the parallelogram. Which shape is at four, zero? Well, this means to go four to the right and zero up. Well, four to the right, one, two, three, four, zero up means don't go up at all. So I'm gonna land on the star. Which shape is at one, five? Well, one, five tells us to go one to the right and up five. So one to the right, up one, two, three, four, five, and I land on the star. Which shape is at three, negative four? All right, so notice this time I have some negatives here. So that first number tells you how far to go right or left. If it's positive, you go to the right. If it's negative, you go to the left. So three is positive, so I'm gonna go three to the right. The second number, or the Y coordinate, tells you how far to go up or down. If it was positive, you would count up. Since this is negative, I'm gonna count down. So I'm thinking of this as three to the right and four down.
Okay, and remember you always count from zero, zero, which is where the X and Y axis cross. So from here, I'm gonna go one, two, three to the right, and then down one, two, three, four, and I land on the rectangle. Which shape is at four, three? Well, these are both positive numbers, so this is telling me to go four to the right and three up. So from zero, zero, I'm gonna count one, two, three, four to the right, one, two, three up, and I land on the rectangle. Which shape is at two, four? Okay, well that would tell me to go two to the right and four up since everything is positive. So from zero, zero, I'm gonna go one, two to the right, one, two, three, four up, and I land on the triangle. Which shape is at negative two, one? Okay, well remember that first number is how far right or left. If it's a negative two, that means to go two to the left. Okay, and then the one is telling us to go one up since it's positive. So from zero, zero, I'm gonna go one, two to the left, one up, and I land on the star. Which shape is at negative three, negative five? Okay, well remember the first number tells you how far to go right or left. If it was positive, you'd go right. Since it's negative three, I'm gonna go three to the left. Okay, the second number tells you how far up or down. If it was positive, you would go up. Since it's negative five, I'm gonna go five down. Okay, so from zero, zero, I'm gonna count one, two, three to the left, one, two, three, four, five down, and I land on the triangle. 